From the I-Team tonight, more questions have been raised about the overcharging of some commuters using MARTA Breeze cards. Our Fox 5 I-Team discovered the problem with Gwinnett County commuters. And now senior I-Team reporter Dale Russell says the problem is bigger than we first thought. Huh? Russ, that's what it looks like. And we've learned today from emails obtained from MARTA that IT professionals confirmed that the Breeze card could at times overcharge Gwinnett customers. But the problem isn't only in Gwinnett. It's also with commuters riding express buses operated by Cobb and Greta. Well, it's shocking because this is not only taxpayers, but also customers. William Perry, head of Georgia Ethics Watchdogs, was surprised when he saw a report that for years some commuters using a Marta Breeze card were getting overcharged. They're taking money out of people's pocket that's rightfully theirs, and they've known about it for so long. A Fox 5 I-Team investigation found that some commuters riding the Gwinnett County Express bus were overcharged when they used their MARTA Breeze card. If they found it and complained, MARTA reimbursed them. Do you consider it an overcharge? I consider it theft. Ryan Wilson says the overcharge doesn't happen every time. It comes and goes. He first complained three years ago and got a refund. At least 20 people on the bus today, and assuming this was being done to every one of them, you're looking at a major haul. But according to emails obtained by the Fox 5 I team, the glitch has been an issue ever since Gwinnett Express buses began using MARTA cards. One Gwinnett official complaining, they, MARTA, refused to admit to the glitch, even though we have provided them with numerous examples. The Gwinnett system knows it, and the MARTA system knows it. <laughs> the riders should know it, and, but beyond that, it ought to be fixed. MARTA would not talk with us on camera and repeatedly told us over the phone, the problem is not their responsibility to fix. Despite that, MARTA and Gwinnett Transit say they are now studying ways to fix the problem. That's three years after they first discovered the glitch. Three years. The Fox 5 I team has now learned the breeze card glitch that causes riders to be overcharged is also happening in Cobb County. Cobb County Transit emails obtained by the I team show customers' complaints of overcharging. One Cobb transportation official alerted MARTA, but did not receive a response from MARTA regarding a permanent fix. What is Cobb County doing about it? They say they are now working with MARTA to come up with that fix. They also wanted us to tell riders to pay attention and let Cobb County Transit know if they have been incorrectly charged. Well, who in the world is going to take the time to make sure that 50 cents here and 50 cents there is right? It's on the government to fix this because it's their problem. Now, MARTA officials estimate about 5% of all Breeze card holders in Gwinnett, that's roughly 300 people or so, could be overcharged. Not every time, but could be overcharged. Now, we don't know the numbers for Greta or Cobb County riders at this point. MARTA plans to ask Cubic, that's its vendor that manages the Breeze card program, to come up with a fix for the overcharging glitch. And I didn't mean for that to rhyme. <laughs> okay. Now, but you've been very clear that this does not affect everyone who has a Breeze card, right? Right, Russ. We, and we first talked about this story. It's people who load multiple rides, short trips and long trips on this. And sometimes when you're taking that short trip, they'll charge you for the long one. It also can do it with cash and discounted tickets. So there's oh. a couple of different ways this can happen. Mm -hmm. It seems like this glitch should have been fixed three years ago. Though, three years frankly. ago, they had notice of it. They knew it was a problem. There was talk about something. You know, what do we do? They're now in the lab studying it, and they say they're going to fix it. You're publicizing it. Is MARTA letting riders know that this is a potential problem? Uh, in a word, no. Okay. Uh, nor has Gwinnett County, nor has Cobb County. I've looked at all their websites. There's been no public information out there for people to take a look at your card, see if you're you know, at risk, right. and see if you're being charged correctly. I can see where that's frustrating a lot of riders. It is not a lot of money with each individual rider, but also you've got a lot of riders that don't have a lot of money. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it adds can add up, up, though. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, Dale, thanks so much.